translation process is a series of steps in protein synthesis. This process is a consequential step of transcription of DNA to RNA. What do we need throughout this translation process? First, ribosome which consists of two parts, large and small subunit. It's made up of three sites which are E exit site, B peptidyl site, and A amino acyl site. Next, messenger ribonucleic acid, mRNA. The codons of an mRNA are read from 5' end towards 3' end. Here, mRNA consists of groups of 3 nucleotides called codons. There are 61 different codons for amino acids. The start codon is AUG, while for stop codons are UAA, UAG, and UGA. Transfer ribonucleic acid, tRNA, brings a set of three nucleotides called anticodon sequence that binds to a complementary mRNA codon through base pairing. It also carries the amino acid at the other end of the RNA. The type of amino acid is determined by the anticodon sequence of the tRNA. Okay, let's proceed to the first stage of translation, which is initiation. It begins with the small ribosomal subunit gets together with the 5' end of the mRNA inside the nucleus and searched for start codon, which is AUG. The tRNA carrier methionin, MET, binds to the start codon. After that, the large ribosomal subunit will bind to form translation complex. Hence, the initiation is complete. Second stage in the translation process is elongation. Methionine carrying tRNA start out in the P site. Next, the individual amino acid are brought by tRNA with the complementary anticodon to the A site. Once they complete the base pairing between anticodon and codon, the peptide bond is formed which connects one amino acid to another. In this case, the methionin attached to the second amino acid which is serine at the P site by a peptide bond. The mRNA shifts one codon to bring the methionin codon to the E site. This allows the methionin codon to exit the ribosome and expose the A site for a new codon to enter. Then, the whole cycle is repeated until stop codon is reached. last stage in this translation process is termination. This stage will happen when a stop codon in mRNA, which in this case is UAA, has entered the A site. Thus, no amino acid will be binded after this. The polypeptide chain are released from the complex. Then, the complex dissociates until next translation process begins. Translation components are very reusable. After the small and large ribosomal subunits separate from the mRNA and from each other, each element can take part in another round of translation.